Yeah, that's right, Alex. There's uh, I didn't know if uh, this was on topic anymore or not, but um, we've got a film coming out for We Are Change Colorado um, with Corey Rowe and Jason Burmis. I'd love to show it to you, Alex. And uh, we're covering a whole prior knowledge. I wrote and directed it of 9-11, a whole angle that I'm uh, trying to get out there, which is... Say that again. Really you've got a film about. coming out with who? Uh, I've been working with Corey Rowe and Jason Burmis. And uh, I don't know if Jason's talked to you about it at all. Core Corruption is the name of the film. And I've been working on it for a year and a half. And uh, it is basically, ex I, I cover that 737 engine story in there. I've covered a lot. Um, I use microbarrel stuff. I used your stuff. Your site is excellent. I've always uh, accredited your work. Oh, no, that's great. And, no, no, uh, he told me something about that. I'd forgotten about it. I've forgotten so much it's it's amazing or, or, or you refreshed uh, my memory well, hopefully we can get this information out there and uh I, I didn't know if it was still on target for this or not but anthony in minnesota there we are changed i think is that right yeah um the rnc uh welcoming committee uh if you get a chance go to truthlines.net uh we support alice jones always have love i mean we love you man. you don't have to preface that every time you say that. I, I got you here to plug your website man I don't care. Well, cool. I mean, well, I mean, if you ever go to truthlines.net, those guys all over the site, you know. No, no, that's fine. But I'm not like the other activists site. and radio shows where I care. People plug their stuff. That's why you're on the show. Right on, right on, man. Well, but cool. Just go ahead and, and make your guys, point, though. By the way, are th those are uh, that RNC hosting committee? If you check out that article I posted on truthlines.net, it's there right now. Um, there's two groups that are planning to be violent there. I mentioned them, so you seriously, you should get on that. Contact them if you can get. If you can go get a camera on them, ask them questions. Seriously, It'd be even better that. maybe to not neutralize the cops and not let them know in their intelligence group that, that we know and catch them again like we've caught them in England, Canada, and the U.S. Catch them. I mean, and, and, and catch them provocateur and then pull out and then uh, get them that way. Because uh, it's real. A few more times catching them, the public's finally figuring out their their wicked game. Okay, let's take another call. JJ in Florida, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Hey, how you doing, good, sir? Good. Good. Welcome, JJ. Yeah, this, I'm a first time caller, and I uh, really enjoy your program. Thank you. Yeah, and I've been writing papers and sending them out all over the internet, and I put Endgame in the last one to. So they know who the Bilderbergs are and stuff. Good, sir. What's and, on uh, your mind? I just got a, I got a, just a different take than you have on all this New World Order and all this kind of stuff. Because I've been studying it for like 30, 35 years. But, I mean, so you're saying you have a different take because you've got a different perspective on it. Well, let's uh, come back and get your quick perspective on that. We'll cram in Dave and Dana. Got to move quick, though, and I want to thank all the We Are Change guys. All right, Shotgun with us until the end. There's a new prisonplanet.com. You can comment in the articles. Get in there. Okay, and, and as the Republican Democratic conventions unfold, we'll, we'll, we'll have We Are Change Colorado, We Are Change Minnesota on report on the ground for us. We have other activist groups there, too, with their perspectives. Uh, going back quickly to J.J. in Florida. Okay, J.J., give me your different perspective on the New World Order. Well, uh, definitely a New World Order being constructed right before our very eyes. But I just think uh, that that's the Antichrist system that's going to envelope the world. And, you know, he's probably lurking in the Bilderberg group or, you know, lurking in there. Maybe just a little guy that nobody really knows yet until, you know, that's that's what I've been studying. My dad got me involved with it. And, uh, you know, they're, the fight is on, definitely. But I'm, I'm fighting for souls. And... Uh, and that, that's just my take. I, I love the work you do. I agree with 90% of it. They're, they're definitely building the new world order, but the Antichrist will seize control of it. And he will come to power for a short season. Yeah, and listen, I appreciate your call. Is. Here's the deal. Most of the Christians are bought and paid for by government foundations through their churches, and they're thinking evil is good now and wars are good. And, 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 and the, you know, the, the Bible says the Antichrist will say he's Jesus. Okay, he won't run around with horns on his head. And that's what I see happening. They could say Jesus came back and says, kill the Iranians. And they'd say, oh, we love you, Jesus. It's, it's, see, that's the whole point. The church will be deceived. And then the modern Schofield Bible came in and made up a bunch of stuff. I'm not going to get into that whole debate. I just know Christians aren't doing their job exposing evil and fighting it. Most of them aren't. 
And there's kind of a cop-out of, well, the Antichrist is coming, this is going to happen, so what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to warn people I'm going to fight evil. Uh, let's uh, real fast go to Dana in New York. Dana, you're on the air with three great We Are Change guys. Go ahead. Alex, thanks for taking my call. I'd like to say I really appreciate the work that you're doing, all the gentlemen from We Are Change. I have a real quick question. Um, before, someone had mentioned uh, they were uh, showing uh, screenings in their local area. Um, I was wondering if anyone could give me any uh, tips or some websites that might facilitate in uh, showing, you know, going about how to acquire the reven the, uh, the venue to show it, and, and as far as advertising or maybe, you know, targeting some, you know, some more influential people in the in in our neighborhoods that uh, could come and view these things. You know, people with influence can make things happen a lot quicker. It gives a lot more credibility. It's so overwhelming for a lot of people that they just want to turn away from it in denial. So any information on how to set that screening process Sure, sure. Up? Dana, I hate to cut you short. Uh, maybe not even time to get to Dave in Canada, and I apologize. I'll try to have more open phones tomorrow. Some big guests coming up the next two days before the 4th. You just call around to the art house theaters, and for a local showing with not much media, you get one with a 100, big city, maybe a 300, 400 theater, and uh, then you set it a month out, and then you usually rent it, and uh, you shouldn't, you know, pay more than say two hundred bucks for a hundred and fifty person theater, four hundred bucks for a two hundred, two hundred fifty person theater, and then you should be able to sell tickets to make your money back to do that, and then you just show the film there. Uh, usually, you got to tell them you got the rights to play it, and that gets into a whole other issue. Uh, and and then you get it advertised. You go on local talk radio. Hey, locals are going to show a film saying the nine eleven's an inside job. Uh, I mean, that's a basic process. Or you can show it usually at different government buildings for free, rent them out, then you know promote it or, or set aside the time. That's a whole other subject. Uh, we ought to do shows or have websites on that. We just don't have the personnel to really have websites on it. I want to thank We Are Change Minnesota, We Are Change um, Colorado, and We Are Change uh, Calgary. I want to thank Nathan Moulton, Jonathan Elinoff, and uh, Brian, and, of course, Anthony. Uh, Anthony, all of you, real fast. Anthony, give out We Are Change website. MNChange.org. MNChange.org. Nathan Moulton. Calgary911Truth.org. Say it again. Calgary911Truth.org. Thank you. And uh, Jonathan Elinoff. We are Change Colorado .org Okay, Wyoming. I'm out of time here. Thank you so much. Retransmission starts now at InfoWars.com. Pre-order Truth Rising now. Retransmission starts right now on the Internet streams. If you missed any of the big guests earlier today at InfoWars.com. If not, I'll see you back live tomorrow.